Boom, and we are in Bistrița. Răzvan, thank you for uh, driving us. Oricând băieți. <laughs> Many time, right? Thank you. I came to Bistrița for the holidays, of course. I'm gonna be spending Christmas with the family. So, for the next 7 to 10 days, I'm gonna be making videos here. This is the room I grew up in. By the way, check out uh, this uh, nice tree that my father made. And that there was my bed, and this one was my brother's. Tonight we're going out with a few friends from Bistrița because uh, we don't see them very often and uh, I told my brother to go on ahead because I want to tell you a story. It's the story of uh, how I became partners with Greg from Kinobody because uh, this is something that many of you have asked me about. If uh, you've been wondering what do you need to do to get a mentor or to get someone to help you develop yourself and your business then I think that this story will help you. The key to working with someone is offering them value. That's it. If you offer someone value, they will pay attention to you. So if you want to work with a mentor, with someone that you admire, you need to make them an offer that they simply cannot refuse. Last year in October, I sent Greg an email offering to sell his Grigard program in Romania. That's how it all started. I remember that uh, I told him in the email that I was gonna do everything. I was gonna translate it, I was gonna promote it, and I was gonna offer customer support for people bu follow, uh, buying his program, and he would get 50% of the profits. So basically, I was gonna do all the work, and we would split the profits evenly just because he was the author. And he got back to me in the same day, and he told me, all right, because how can you say no to an offer like that? At that point, I had been following the Grigard program for about 9 months, so I knew everything about it. And I also read pretty much all the articles that uh, Greg wrote on his site, watched all his videos and listened to all his podcasts. So I was very uh, knowledgeable about his approach and also about his business, so I knew I could do a good job. 30 days later, I had the program finished, I had the sales pages done, I had the promotion tactic prepared, basically I did everything. And when I showed Greg my work, he was pleased. He saw that I meant business, that I actually had something to offer. And that is how our friendship and collaboration started. It was my initiative, I gave something to him. I didn't come to ask something, I came to give something. And that's uh, the key. After that point we started to collaborate more, we did a lot of videos together, I helped him with some editing and uh, then in the summer of this year I switched my site to English and I decided to basically join the Kinobody team. So what's the key lesson here? If you want to catch someone's attention you have to give not ask. Why would someone help you for free? Why would someone who is busy spend time teaching you uh, how to be successful, how to be uh, better at whatever it is that you're doing? Nobody. You need to figure out how you can improve someone else's business or plan and you also need to figure out how that will be beneficial for yourself. Basically, you must not give them any work. They do not have to think how they can help you. Most people go to someone and say, uh, let me know if there is something that I can do to help you. That, that, that person doesn't know what you can do for them. They don't know your skills, they don't know how uh, good of a learner you are, they don't know how good of a problem solver you are, they don't know anything about you. So of course they won't trust you until you show them something. Now, if you come up with a plan and you say, look, 
I came up with this idea to improve your business. This is what we're gonna do. You figure out all the strategy and you tell them how you can help. Well, I guarantee you that at that point, everyone is gonna pay attention to you. If your idea is good, they will say, go for it. They, maybe they will get you even uh, inside their, their team because you show them right from the start that you know what you're talking about and you have initiative, you have ideas, you have something to contribute. So uh, if I had to give you a step-by-step -step plan, it would be this. Number one, figure out how you can help the person that you wanna get help from in return. Number two, also figure out how that plan will benefit you. You must do all the thinking. Avoid giving work to the person that you're giving the proposition to. Number three, improve your skills so you actually are good at what you, uh, at the work that you intend to do. And number four, move into action as soon as possible. You need to show that you have initiative and uh, that you are dependable. One of my favorite quotes is actually, successful people always start before they are ready. You develop your skills on the way. Remember that what you get is related to what you give. You need to focus on giving and the receiving will be automatic. surely are some of the best Christmas decorations I've ever seen. I am waiting for my brother. Time to go home for tonight. A question that uh, I got a lot from you lately is uh, what are a few books that I would recommend reading? Uh, well, I would give you a top three. I would say your first choice should be Think and Grow Rich because that book covers pretty much everything related to success. Number two would be How to Win Friends and Influence People. And for number three... Bandre, care ar fi la tine top 3 cărți pe care le-ai recomandat la oameni? Adică, cărta asta pe tine. The first one is... Think and Grow Rich. The second one is Conversation with God. All right. And the third one is... Hmm... I had difficulty with the third one too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh... For me, the third one would not be a book. It would actually be one of Bob Proctor's program, which, which is uh, Six Minutes of Success. That program is amazing. Me and Andre have been involved in that program for a few years. And... Uh, Bob basically sends you a video, a short video with a good idea every day. And uh, I know that most people actually don't spend the time to read the whole book, so that is perfect. Every day we get a two, three, four, six minutes video that is that gives you a, an, an excellent idea about life, success, money, and all that. This would be my third choice. Uh, my brother is probably gonna do a video on discipline uh, in the in the following year for uh, my audience because he, he wrote this book about discipline and uh, he wanted to share the he, uh, the, the advice that uh, he... It's, it's a very fucking book. <laughs> and after I learned those ideas, I just became instantly disciplined. I just like a button, you press it and you become disciplined. So... 